What started as a 7-0 season for the Barrington Broncos ended with their first loss as they took on the Palatine Pirates Friday night. After some back and forth from the Broncos and the Pirates, Barrington finally had J.D. Henderson run one in for 10 yards, pushing the score 7-0. After multiple false starts from Barrington, they were at their own 21 in goal. Despite this, Davidson threw a pass to Miller for a 21-yard run into the touchdown, putting the Broncos up 14-0. Later in the second quarter, the Pirates ran one in, bringing them up 7-14. Another run, later in the second quarter, brought them tied to the Broncos, giving Coach Sanchez and the boys a little bit of a scare. At halftime, I got a chance to talk to some of the fans as well as the president of Go Beyond Barrington, the club that was sponsoring tonight's blackout. Well, right now it's a uh, highly contested game, it's a 14 to 14, but I think Barrington is going to pull out in the second half and get us a solid victory. Go Broncos! Okay, so Go Beyond Barrington is a student-led 501c nonprofit organization who strives to empower communities in need while strengthening, strengthen, while strengthening the Barrington community at the same time. Um, it has impacted the Barrington community because over the past um, three years in its creation, we've been able to donate over $48,000 to different organizations. The first three have been tornado relief organizations, so Joplin, Missouri, and then um, Washington, Illinois, after the EF4 and EF5 tornadoes have passed. This year we're doing something different. We're um, trying to empower kids and people our own age. So we're working with an emergency youth shelter in Milwaukee, Wisconsin called Pathfinders. And then we're also working with the Boys and Girls Club of America Elgin area. Okay, so the blackout night is the senior night here at BHS for football, um, palms, band, flags, um, all the group, cheerleading, all the groups here. Um, and then Go Beyond Barrington sponsors the game by selling these blackout t-shirts. All the money goes to Go Beyond Barrington and um, whatever money we raise is going towards our beneficiary. Johnny Davidson, I mean sure Palatine Z is putting up a fight, but he's going to persevere and do like he always does and bring home a Broncos victory. Go Broncos! The second half led way to some of the strongest Broncos defense I have ever seen, including some of the loudest cheering so far yet this season. With 8.30 left in the fourth quarter, Parrots number 22 ran one in, putting Palatine up 21-14. A final Palatine field goal put the Pirates up 24-14 at the end of the game. Ladies first. It's, it's not the best. It's a very sick feeling. However, I feel like we'll rebound very well from this. We got a big game next week. Fremd is big. I mean, Mets are our rivals. If we can win that game, I think we'll be in good shape. I think it really stings for the moment, but what's most important is, you know, we got two huge games in front of us. We got from which is our rivals, and then we got the playoffs, you know? Yeah. Bounce back, and we could succeed. Yeah, it's kind of cliche, but I mean, every day is a new day, and uh, every moment is a new moment. So, as silly as that sounds, next week is a new, new week. We can bounce back.